I want to do first of all is talk a little bit around the topic today as, as a lead-in and what we're going to talk about is a concept of the digital thread. So really the digital thread is around this idea that within any given organization we have different departments and depending on the company you might have different departments but in a typical sort of manufacturing organization you might have an engineering department that does design and development um, you'll have a manufacturing facility typically on site or, or maybe overseas um, you'll have sales and marketing for selling the product and, and uh, generating business that way there'll be customer operations you maybe have a service business and then obviously you've got your management team uh, etc and uh, typically uh, each of those environments and departments um, use information they maybe create information and they maybe want to share information and really today what we're going to look at is how we can use a digital thread a digital connection between those departments so that people can share um, based on their role the right information at the right time uh, today's focus will be really sharing information from engineering to the rest of the organization uh, but you can use this technology to share other information back upstream as well. So the flow of the digital thread can be both um, downstream and upstream. Okay. And I guess the digital thread, as I show there, can also be used uh, as a basis to create a digital twin as well, based on the information that you have there within the system. And typically with a digital thread, the backbone of that is often a PLM system. Uh, in our case, we have Windchill as our PLM system, and that's what we're going to demonstrate today. What I'll do at this point, I'll hand over to Alan, Alan Thompson, if you're there, and I'll let him go through the remainder of today's presentation. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Paul. Hi, everybody. So uh, at a very high level, a PLM system, what it's about. So there are three main I guess, uh, columns here that we're talking about. So for a PLM system, one is uh, the digital product definition. So it's designed to manage uh, all of that digital content that you create uh, that describes your products. Uh, the second thing is the processes around that. Okay, so the uh, the process is how we may handle changes, release that information, whatever that might be. And the third one is visualization. Okay, giving, um, other users within the organization the ability to uh, to view and work with that that data okay and that's a really important part of uh, the PLM system and the and the whole environment is because you know within that organization we've got all these different groups who are creating their own information but then there are plenty of others within the organization that need to uh, to see that information to use that in some way and that that presents challenges okay uh, how we make sure that we're looking at the right version of that, uh, how we make sure that's fine, easy to see, all of those kinds of things, okay? And that's what we're gonna be delving into with uh, with ThingWorks Navigate. The goal really of ThingWorks Navigate is to, as it says here, democratize that PLM information, okay? So, you know, we've got Windchill as our PLM system, we're managing all of that content and those processes. And we've got our sort of primary PLM users, right? So these are the people who are in there maybe all day, every day, or very regularly doing all of their work, managing their information processes around. Okay. But then we've got all of our extended PLM participants. So they need to occasionally log in and grab a bit of that information, right? Um, maybe they might need to uh, occasionally be approve something you know be involved in some process so they're not your sort of you know hardcore day in day out expert PLM right and so uh you know the trick that you've got with uh you know with these sorts of systems and processes you know we want to remove those collaboration barriers so like we we're just talking about before you know these sort of manual exports out from a system to put it onto another system now we've got two versions of that information stored you know we've got printouts or paper plots you know incomplete data you know, the, the big a lot of those sort of barriers to collaboration right so the idea is to really take that digital thread that we, we've got and extend that to the wider organization okay to give them you know, live access into the information uh, so they can see uh, what they want when they want okay so this is the idea of, of thingworks navigate okay so it's basically a 
an application or a series of applications that are designed out of the box to view information stored in Windchill. Okay, so it is it's independent from Windchill. Okay, so we don't need to you know uh, upgrade or re replace it or anything like that. Um, it's very simple to use. You know, very minimal training to no training. Uh, there's a bunch of out of the box applications ready. Okay, and there are some very simple options to tailor that. Uh, as well, there's the option to expand that out and connect that into other systems as well, which we'll discuss a little bit later on. Okay, so uh, there's a few different apps within the Navigate suite. Um, so we'll start off with ThingWorks Navigate View. Okay, so this is our app for viewing information stored inside PLN. So I need to view a drawing, view a parts list, view some sort of other information. Okay, uh, that's what we use. Okay, so that is configurable by role, which we'll, we'll, we'll discuss. So we can say that, you know, manufacturer can see these apps, purchasing can see these apps, uh, that sort of level, right? So the idea is that, yeah, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Uh, so the idea is that, you know, we can configure this role specific behavior. So you might have uh, people in production need to, to log in to view information, but they just need to maybe grab a drawing view design files. Okay, so we can pre filter that. Know, things setting up it uses the standard windshield access controls so they can only be seeing release stuff all that kind of all that kind of information okay uh, we might say they can only view PDF formats um, but then someone in purchasing they might need to see more information right they might need to see uh, particular part properties they might need to see documents they might need to see a part structure and then we can also add other information so maybe uh, they might need to see supplier information you know, make buy columns things like that okay quantities and stock and on order we can also uh, which I'll again I'll discuss a bit later on expand that out to connect to our ERP system as well okay 